looks like this. Perhaps it's no great surprise if I show you the latest radar sequence, which shows a mass of rain which has been flooding up from the central and southern parts in the, pr in the previous few hours, now moving on towards Northern Ireland, southern parts of Scotland, the north of England as well, and a real mass of cloud associated with those fronts and the low pressure, and leaving behind quite some uh, heavy showers here breaking out now across the central and southern parts of the British Isles. Now, it's been very wet indeed in a number of locations. I've picked out here Pershaw down in the west country, a couple of inches there, two or three inches over the past couple of days across the northern parts of Down and Antrim in Northern Ireland. More heavy rain to come through the course of the afternoon. Do take care if you're on the move across the north of England, southern Scotland and Northern Ireland too. And even further south, the showers that I was talking about, they in their own right could cause some tricky conditions. Something of a drier slot just beginning to emerge away from that south coast, around about the South Midlands, eventually creeping towards the north of England as the afternoon goes on. One of the pluses is that, in fact, with all that cloud around, it isn't going to feel particularly cold anywhere, really. Now, as we move on through the course of tonight, this low pressure becomes really quite interesting as it trundles up and across the channel and towards East Anglia because that's going to pep up a lot of shower activity. And eventually, that will spread over towards East Anglia as the night progresses. The band of rain continuing away to the north, and that's going to leave a drier slot in between. Some mist and fog there. Watch out again if you're on the move. And the temperatures there at their lowest are around about 10 degrees. If I can move you down towards the constant, well, some comfort in shared misery, perhaps. Three inches of rain on the Côte d'Azur down in Nice, and you can see where that's coming from. It's the same sort of front that's uh, affecting us at the moment, gradually making a little bit of progress towards the east. But I have to say it is gradual progress. It uh, really doesn't get that far over the next couple of days. So the band of cloud and rain associated with that gradually working its way across the continent, and eventually, I think, it'll move over towards the eastern side with a drier slot breaking out eventually, and then somewhat more unsettled conditions moving in. Now, this low pressure, you better get used to it, is going to be around for quite some time, certainly dominating the scene across many parts of the British Isles, but at least it's feeding in winds from the south and southwest for the most part, so things staying on the mild side for most folk as we move right on towards the weekend. Some detail out of all of that. Well, Tuesday, we see that low pressure I was talking about gradually moving away towards the North Sea, but only making room, you'll notice, for another band of cloud and rain to work its way in from the south and west. So those showers ganging together for a time on Tuesday before moving away. And then on Wednesday, after a pretty bright start for most folk, then eventually I think we'll find more cloud and rain spreading from the southwest. Bye-bye.